I hope you guys will enjoy this new series coming up in one second. Well, after this intro, um, heads up, there will be a weird cut in the middle, um, about, uh, probably, like, right near the end, um, just something that happened, and I had to cut that part out. But, um, if you do enjoy this series, uh, remember to drop it in the end, and enjoy the new roleplay. Goodbye. Hey, hey, yeah, you, come on, get up, hold on, I'll give you a hand, my hand, right, there you go, alright, uh, I told you to get up, uh, oh, go, oh, don't, eh, what are you doing, okay, so, uh, I guess you can just sit down if you want, um, well, uh, welcome to Russia, duh, I'll just give you a hand, I'll explain it, I'll explain it, okay, so, we're in Russia, uh, hold on, let me, I got a map. We're in Russia here by this farm. So, um, zombie apocalypse hit. I'm guessing you already know this. Uh, weird experiments that had been going on, and Russia got infected. Uh, though I was told it wasn't going to be, but it got hit hard. Oh, backpack. So, uh, yeah, we're looting this, these farmers' houses. I know. Don't feel bad, though. They're all dead. Well, not actually dead. They're zombies. Like this guy here. I don't know anything other than that. All I knew was uh, my friend was here, and he told me that I should come to Russia because that it wasn't going to get hit. But guess what? It did. And... Yeah, we're not in a good situation. Luckily, you have me. And if I hadn't found you, then the zombies would have, and they would have jumped off the face. To be completely honest. <laughs> but, uh, you got me. And I saved your life, and, uh, we're together in this. Um, I was actually a businessman before this hill hit, but I know a few things about survival. Uh, my best friend that I had talked about, he had worked uh, occasionally in these types of things. Uh, he knew a thing or two and taught me a thing or two about survival. So, I think... Uh, you can see over there there's a, some cabins that we might want to go to. So, I got this scythe. About it. I didn't start out with anything and then of course I found all that stuff. Sorry, I hadn't really been talking to you about that kind of stuff. Alright, well, this is, well, this is Russia. Of course, it's massive. And, uh, the reason I'm here, other than I told you, my friend told me to get out of where I was, um, was he, well, this is what he told me. Alright, Russia is going to be safe. Everyone closing out the way in, and things along those lines get here as soon as possible. The United States and part of Canada will be infected. Well, came. The United States, by the time I left, hadn't been hit. And when we flew over Canada, didn't see anything bad, like you'll see here. But here, of course, got hit. I got there, and he was one of the farm owners. He ran away from... Well, he never met me. Uh, he owned that farm back there that we kind of looted. But it's okay. He's most likely dead, which, yeah, that's not good, but hey, better than nothing. Okay. There we go. And yes, I do like twirling around the scythe. It feels nice in my hands. I don't really know anything about how to, well, about if there's any safe places left. All I know is that the best place would be in America or in Canada. And Canada's closer. And, yeah, but we can't leave unless we have a plane. And no, not a helicopter, sadly. Uh, a chopper's not gonna help us much. But, uh, definitely a, a plane will.
Yeah, there we go. That's the next looking gun. Canteen. Fishing rod. Wow. <laughs> These are normal basic zombies. They want to eat our flesh. Uh, I know. Hard thing to say, you know. Zombies that are eat our flesh. Well, I guess that's normal for zombie stuff, but... I think this actually is happening. Dear God. <laughs> That's all I can say. Help us, you yeah. know. Ah, headlamp. I'll only turn that off now. Uh, another map. Why not grab it? And a bed. Yeah, I'm looting everything I possibly can because I know that when stuff hits the fan, then. Huh. <coughs> Stuff is gonna go bad. <laughs> Very badly. So, hence why I'm salvaging all this stuff. I'm ripping it up. And, uh, because. Important. To have protection. And things along those lines. And. Something that's gonna help is clothing. Things along those lines. Oh, that fishing rod. I don't need that right now. I doubt we're gonna do any fishing in the zombie apocalypse, but hey, who knows. Ah, jeez. That's a nice sport shot. So. And no, I'm not grabbing that. Uh, yeah, that's a hunting BB gun. Well, it's a BB gun, not a hunting rifle. Which is shooting pellets. Well, actually, no, that thing does shoot bullets, but things not meant to kill. You need something that's gonna kill per shot. <laughs> one kill, one shot. Ever heard of that? Yeah. That's what we need. Uh, because when using guns, I don't know if you watched any zombie movies, but the first rule, other than make sure you could run away and having food and water and things like that, they're attracted to noise. Loud bangs and things along those lines. Gun. Large bang. That's all I'm gonna say. There's gonna be a large bang and zombies are gonna come running. I'm gonna take them out quietly, most likely with a scythe, like I've been using. Um, or a crossbow, which, you know, we found one. Uh, we'll have to you know, craft ourselves a uh, home and whatnot. Build maybe a shack or a tent or something like that. I'm sure that will be able to be done. So let's keep on running. <sighs> uh, getting winded already. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm sure uh, they'll have to tell me your story at some point. Maybe write it down or something. But, uh, where you came from. Um, right many, you know. I, I probably will have to start making uh, logs for our days out in here. Surviving the zombie apocalypse and whatnot. Uh, I come from uh, New England. How about you? Well, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter. The place probably is. Everywhere is probably in shambles by now. <laughs> Just flare. I always wanted to be a fighter. Well, actually, I can't say that. But must have been a hard job. But I guess it's better to live than to hang to people's flesh and be dead. <coughs> now, I'm gonna take off this helmet. I don't even know why I was, but I picked that up. Yeah, we don't need this cheese. A lot of this stuff we don't need. Yeah, I'll probably throw some of this stuff down. Ah, uh, actually, I'll keep the bread. Yeah, I'll grab the cheese too. Yeah. Okay. So, well, we'll have to set up a place to sleep and, you know, a base, a home base. I'm not too good with craft work, but hey. Better than nothing, right? Maybe even having like a little tent will be better. So yeah. 
Uh, hold on one second. I got. I'm thinking about something. Mr. Corbin, when did you fundraise for the Corbin Foundation? Uh, when did you fundraise for the Corbin Foundation? Next Friday? Oh, this Friday. Oh, this, this not this coming Friday. Really? Okay. Alright. Alright, uh, now I remember. Mm, just, I was thinking about the map. Uh, I was kind of being lazy. Right. <laughs> there we go, let me pull that out. So, uh, but I do remember there's a ton of these things scattered around. There's a lot of things that were not map, uh, marked on the map, but, hey. That's, it was very dry land. Eh, but, hey. What are you gonna do? Dry land is better than no land. <laughs> well, no, I can't say that completely. I don't know if you're a water person or not. I'm definitely one. Well, I was for a while. I haven't been for a while now, but hey. I haven't been out in the water or on the water for, say, four to five years now. But up here, we got another one of these uh, fire watch bases. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me drop that. I realize I have a Swiss Army knife. Oh, amazing. Uh, the knife, I guess. Like that, not, that's not a bad thing. It just. I haven't used a knife for a while. Stabby, stabby, stabby. <laughs> you know, you always gotta try to raise your spirits in these types of situations, you know. Alright, let's, well, here's the deal, you got the bed, and I know you must be pretty tired, I know I am, so, I grab this, and I'm gonna have a snack, so we will set up a little bit of a, well, we'll place on that, uh, bed, and, uh, just over there. Oh. Um, can't help myself. <laughs> and then I'll wake you up in an hour or so. Or, yeah, in a little bit. So, let me just head over here. Put it in that tree. That'll be a good, good spot. Now, this won't be a permanent base, but. Alright, well, I'm gonna head to bed, uh, you head to bed, I'll wake you up in a minute.